Hi, this is Emeline from the Off-Track family. Hope you're doing fine today. This is our second episode of our Defender maintenance series, so I hope you'll enjoy. In this episode, we will show you how to easily do a transfer box oil change on your Land Rover Defender. If you watched our first episode on how to easily do a gearbox oil change before this one, you'll notice that this transfer case oil change operation is very similar to the gearbox one. But, of course, with very important details that are specific to the transfer box. We just want to be sure that all is clear and also to simplify your access to any maintenance video on our channel. With that said, now let's dive in. Before starting the transfer box oil change, here are some important information. When we read the workshop manual, we're supposed to change the transfer box oil around 80k kilometers. But that's a long period of time for four wheelers. So we change it every 50k kilometers, like the gearbox, and we are at peace with that. As you can see, our Defender is a 2.4 TDCI Puma left-hand drive. So the transfer box is a LT230. But if you have a model like a TD5 or a TDI, it's a very similar operation. The first thing you have to know is the oil capacity of the transfer box. In some defenders, you just have to fill in the transfer box with oil up to the filler plug level. But not on the 2.4 TDCI defenders. We have to fill the exact amount of oil so we have to refill exactly 2.3 litres of oil in the transfer case. Concerning the oil, the workshop manual talks about a SAE 75W90 API GL4 plus 5 oil. Usually we use the Motul Gear 300, but this time, as we had a few bottles of Motorex with the same specs, we use this Motorex transfer box oil. This oil is also SAE 75W90 API GL4 plus 5 and it's from a very well-known Swiss brand so we don't care too much about this oil performance. It should be excellent. Also good to know that you mustn't use a GL5 because it could damage your transfer box parts over time. So, you can use the Motorex or Motul SAE 75W90 API GL4 plus 5 like us, or choose another brand with the same specs. It isn't a too expensive transmission oil, but you'll need 3 bottles of 1 litre for your refill. You will use 2 full bottles and 300 millilitres of the third one. Then, you can keep the open third bottle in your car for an emergency top-up refill, just in case. Now that you have the basic important info, we can move on to the equipment we need for the transfer box oil change. We will need 3 times one liter of oil, a half-inch dynamometric torque wrench, a universal joint extension, a multipurpose pump, some Teflon tape, an oil container, a funnel and a cloth. Now let's start the work and do watch the video until the end to have the last tips and info after the transfer box oil change. The first step is to have a ride with your car to warm up the transfer box. Then the oil will be easier to drain. Especially if, like us, you are doing this operation outside in cold temperatures. Today's temperature here was less than 5 degrees. You have to find and remove the filler plug to help the oil have a better draining. It's not as painful as the gearbox one to unscrew it. You will need the half inch dynamometric torque wrench with the universal joint extension. When the filler plug is removed, you can prepare your oil container and place it under the drain plug. 
Then unscrew gently the drain plug with the same half inch torque wrench and let the oil drain until no more is draining from the whole of the transfer box. It's preferable to finish unscrewing the drain plug by hand because hot oil will come out quickly and all at once. If you are unsure of your container placement, you can hold it closer to the drain hole. While the oil is draining, you can clean the small metal particles stuck on the magnet of the drain plug. The size and amount of the metal particles can give you an indication about your transfer case health. This magnet is here to collect the tiny metallic parts that come from the use of the car. So it's absolutely normal to have those metallic flakes on it. It will also attract a bigger part that may be broken, such as a gear's tooth. So by cleaning and checking what there's on this magnet, you may be able to prevent a huge breakdown. Before putting the drain plug back in place, you can add some Teflon tape to seal it correctly. Just as for the gearbox, before we weren't adding this Teflon tape, but drain plugs might sometimes have a minimal leak. That's why now we're adding this Teflon tape on all our plugs. This tape is really cheap and it is easily findable in any sanitary plumbing shop. As you can see, you only need to put a little, but enough to seal the thread. Be sure to let the oil flush correctly until the last drops come out. Then wipe the hole and screw back by hand the drain plug. After that, use the torque wrench to finish properly the tightening at 30 Newton meters. Now you can use your multipurpose mini pump. Fill one liter of oil in the one liter bottle of the pump. Place the hose in the filler hole and pump to refill the transfer box. This accessory is really useful, especially for an operation with tricky spaces for refill. It's a pain if you don't have this item and a simple operation will be quickly transformed in a horrible nightmare. So I absolutely recommend you to buy it before an oil change. You can find this type of accessory on many mechanics websites or on Amazon and eBay. You can buy pumps with a larger capacity such as 5 liters for example but we prefer the 1 litre one, like this we can easily store it in the car. It costs about 25 euros, but it's absolutely worth it. The brand and reference are Laser 4385. This first operation has to be done twice completely because two full litres of oil must be filled in the transfer case. To anticipate the fact that it's not possible to pump up the last 50 milliliters of oil, you can already add 50 milliliters of oil to have the exact amount of oil needed. This means that you will precisely use your two first bottles of oil and then you will need to add 50 milliliters to your last 300 milliliters of oil. With this tool, this operation is done quite quickly. It's absolutely doable to do this oil change by yourself, but with some help it will obviously take less time. Before screwing your filler plug back in place, you can make a level check with a small aluminum homemade gauge. As you know that today you have the correct amount of oil in your transfer box, you can manufacture a check level tool for when you want to check the level of oil in your transfer case. You will notice that with 2.3 liters, the level comes at about half an inch under the filler plug. With your homemade tool, you will be able to check your level at any time if you presume a leaking, for example.
After that, you can screw back the filler plug that was also previously taped with some Teflon tape. And as said in the manual, you have to tighten it to 30 newton meters with your torque wrench. There, it's done. And of course, don't forget to ditch your used oil the correct way. Just to have an indication of your transfer box health, have a look at the quality of the oil you drained. The color should be quite similar to the new oil, just a bit more darker but not black and burnt. Other thing you can check is if you find some small metal parts or something like that. It's not supposed to happen but we never know. Maybe you can prevent a future breakdown only by checking this. Another thing you can do is measure the quantity of oil you drain from your transfer box. If your transfer box is well sealed and has no leaks, you should have 2.3 liters of old used oil drained from your transfer box. Our transfer box has a few leaks and we drained 2.2 liters, but all is okay, we only lost 100 milliliters since the last oil change. So there we are with the transfer box oil change. I hope this episode will be helpful to you. Would be really pleased to read you, so don't hesitate to comment down below and let us know if you have any questions or other tips for us. Please don't forget to add a thumbs up, to hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell and also share our video. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.